up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise, and I am back here at Elder Ford. Nadia called me up. She knows you guys love modified Mustangs, and what I have is one hell of a Mustang. This is a 2018 Roush Jackhammer. If you don't know anything about Jack Roush, you have must be living under a rock because Jack Roush has really cut his teeth in NASCAR racing and with his teams, all the trickery, all the magic. He's brought it to the street for you guys to check out. I am in love with the front of this jackhammer. Jack Roush, it's not just an appearance thing. Underneath this hood, 710 supercharged ponies. I really like the aggression with the extra bodywork here. If I'm gonna zonk Jack, sorry Jack, I'm gonna have to zonk you. I wish these were functional. These would be perfect for bringing cool air into those massive rotors, into those calipers. So I just wish this was functional, but I do like the way they went a little extra on the design of the 2018 Mustang. As we go past the front, I like the open grill. I like the bars. There's that very famous badge there, that jackhammer badge. You can see the extra touches with the Roush front lip splitter. This is gonna help scoop air and feed it into those front radiators. I'm telling you, this car has a nice presence. The white with the black, the flat black racing stripe. You can see the different hood ex heat extractors that they're using. They're larger. It's all about getting more air in through the front and more air out, especially that hot air because hot air is gonna rob us of horsepower. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side of the car here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love these wheels finished in a nice gloss black. It's a 20 inch wheel. You can see the huge Brembo caliper. Now, if I was gonna zonk this part of the car, I'd like to see some cross road rotors. I'd like to see some slotted rotors there. You got full steel rotors, but the wheels are beautiful and you're definitely gonna get that ultimate stopping power with the six piston caliper. I don't know if Tom showed you how with the jackhammer set up with the bodywork, how it really just flows nicely into the fender. This is really cool. Roush is famous for the hockey stripe. That's what that's called. It's a hockey stripe. It's sort of like a hockey stick. I love the Roush uh, badging, Jack Roush. I don't know if you can see it, the J and the R. I really like the flat black going all the way down just enough. This car has just enough extra to really make it pop with the racing stripe, with the Roush badging across the windshield. I absolutely love it. Now, as we work our way down the side, one place you're really gonna see a difference is with this side scoop. This is another thing. It looks good, but it's not functional. So hate it or love it, whatever you wanna do, it is here. And like I said, from an outside perspective, it gives the car a nice distinctive look. It just doesn't give it any performance advantage. As we wrap it around the back, there's that wonderful military American flag that Roush puts on all of their vehicles and out back on the jackhammer. I really, really like this nice kick up rear spoiler. Nothing too aggressive. I like the design of it across the back. There's those famous letters, Roush. Jack Roush Racing, high performance. He even goes ahead and adds a couple pieces to the diffuser to give you a distinctive look. This one has the adaptive exhaust. Wait until we fire this thing up. Remember, 710 horsepower from a supercharged V8. Let's go ahead and check out the heart of the jackhammer. All right, guys, here's the heart of the Roush jackhammer. I love, there's that tried and true Coyote V8 with the supercharger up top. Check out the sealed cold air induction box. I like the way there's a display window so you could check out what that filter looks like. Does it need to be yanked out and changed? I like how clean the supercharger installation is. You got the Ford Performance Roush badging on it. You can see the supercharger pulley. One thing that, you know, Tom and I had a little bit of a debate are these plastic covers. Now they put these covers here because if you've been underneath the hood of a Coyote uh, equipped Mustang GT, there's a lot of wires and hoses and stuff. So they do put these special covers here and it kind of blends in with the supercharger. I think they're okay. Tom says yank them out and put something else there. So it's, it's to each their own. They put a very nice Roush uh, limited badging on there to show you where that car is coming from. Made in the USA. Performance, you're talking about zero to 60, 3.1 seconds. You're talking about quarter mile in that 10 second range and you have supercharged goodness, those sounds, that nice supercharger whine coming from underneath the hood. 
If you're ready, I'm ready to hear the heart of this jackhammer. Right, guys here we are inside the 2018 Roush jackhammer very very similar to any Mustang GT that you've been in since 2018 it has the air conditioned and heated seats it's got all the premium features one thing I wish if Tom could show you on the back headrest is there's no embroidery I'd like to see a Roush name here and that's probably the biggest letdown with this jackhammer is there's a lot of no, there's not enough extra features in here to make it stand out. You do have Roush ba badging up top. You have the Roush logo in the carpets and on the door sills. And then here's your serial number badging, that Jack Roush special made in the USA. Probably one of the coolest things that I like about this car is that it has a special tailored active exhaust from Roush. This is an option. You twist the knob and you have your different settings. So that's quiet mode. I'll give it a little wrap and see if you can pick it up. Then you turn it again. Keep turning. I love the way we're going. And then custom. We'll get you some more of that footage very soon in a second. But I, other changes is going to be the shift knob. You have a nice Jack Rouse shift knob. Feels good in the palm. The gearbox has very nice throws just like any other Mustang GT, but really where all that magic's coming is from underneath that hood, that supercharged 710 horsepower. Why don't you come around this side and I'll show you what differences there are from Jack Roush. All right guys, here's the business end. I'm gonna zonk it. I wish Jack Roush would have done something with the steering wheel. It's just your standard affair Mustang steering wheel. One thing that is cool is that he did change the font and the color on the tachometer and the speedometer, which are both analog. Now what's interesting is remember, this has the uh, leather seats from the premium, but you're not getting the LED display dash. You're getting your analog tra traditional uh, dash and whatnot. So that is something that I'm glad that they changed it up, but I wish they would have done something with this area. If you look down, one thing that they did do is they upgraded the pedals. So you have these nice racing pedals with the Roush engraved. You have some nice sticky, almost like grip tape from your old skateboard on those pedals. And you could do awesome heel to toe downshifting all day long. I would love to take this out on a track. 710 horsepower, that's not going to be a bad thing, that's for sure. Um, but if you're ready, I'm ready to wrap this one up. All right, guys, it's been one hell of a day here at Elder Ford. Definitely want to give a huge shout out and a great big thank you to Nadia and everybody here at Elder Ford. They just opened up the doors to Tom and I and said, hey, what do you guys want to film? Of course, a car called a jackhammer. I'm definitely going to bring that to the Radies Rise subscribers. If these are the types of cars that you like to see on Radies Rise, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not subscribed yet, what? in God's green earth are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get the notifications. If you have been a subscriber, thank you. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you, everybody out there who's been watching, supporting the channel. We're a community, we're a family here on Radies Rides, and I just am so grateful every single day. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter pages, it's Radies Rides original content all the time. Definitely check those out. If you have not gotten yourself some Radies Rides merch, Click the tab that was at the beginning of this video. It'll take you right to the spread shirt shop. Get yourself hoodies, hats, jackets, bags, something for everybody. The holidays are coming up and nothing says I love you more than some Radies Rise merch, especially for your wife, your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend, the dog. Can't forget the man of the hour, the man of so many women's dreams out there, Tom Moshner, Big Guns McGee. He's getting a tattoo later this week. BGM, right across that bicep, Big Guns McGee. That was actually a suggestion by a subscriber, so we're gonna get that done. <laughs> I think he's saying no, uh, but we'll see. Maybe there'll be surprises. Stay, stay tuned to Facebook. But anyways, thank you, Tom, for your hard work, your dedication. Definitely wanna show Tom some love for his powerlifting competition. And like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.